Hello everyone, welcome to part 11 of my Cliff View project. Okay, so I made a couple changes to my game since the uh, The, uh, I was just checking to see if I had uh, messed up uh, textures. Had that happen a couple of times. Now I'm playing the uh, 1.0.7 beta version, so there may be some issues there, or it could be issues with my uh, video driver or something like that. Anyway, I made a couple changes. I got rid of the uh, No Pillars mod. I've kept it around, I've just disabled it. Um, I've also set the, uh, got a mod for auto setting uh, transit line colors, and I got the terraforming mod. Um, just in case I want to uh, do some minor terraforming. Now I gather terraforming is quite expensive, so I'm not likely to do a lot of it. But uh, even so, um, terraforming is terraforming and that just looks weird <laughs> well there you go uh, that just looks funky uh, from this angle but when you go around like this you can see that it's a cliff uh, <laughs> anyway uh, that just goes to show you what you can get with uh, perspective uh, distortions okay so was I thinking of actually doing here? Uh, well, I've got a fair large area here. Uh, when's my next milestone? Uh, 60,000, so I have a way to go there, so I need to uh, start acquiring population here. What I'm going to do is uh, build an area over here. I've got a highway exit here, so I can go ahead and use that for an access point. Uh, but I think I, I need a main road through here. So I'm going to build one of those. Uh, I'm going to make it a four-lane road, and this is largely for aesthetics because uh, well, I need to. I want to place it right. Okay, because I'm going to put a pedestrian path beside it. Now, as I say, this is mostly for aesthetics. Uh, is I found that that the uh, the two lane roads tend to work better in most circumstances uh, paradoxically no I think I want that so I can keep it nope I'm treating the uh, rail line here as an obstacle that the main road has to go around. But I've just changed my mind on how it's going to flow through here. this grid out uh, 
Okay, now, one, two, three, that's where the road will come out to. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I forgot to put it on the curve. Okay. There we go. There's my main road. Uh, and it's going to head off straight for a bit here. Come on. Straight. Okay. Now no, I went a bit far there. There we go. Uh I guess should upgrade it here too. I can't do it there until I move the uh, widget here. What is it? Ah, I'll just stick it over here. What's it occupied by? Oh, it's a bloody pillar. Okay. Okay, now I have to put the highway back. Really? No, that looks dumb. Okay. Now over at this end, I'm going to need some sort of interchange. Now, I have some uh, interchanges here. Um, No, that's not the one I want. That's definitely not the one I want. Or that one. Well, maybe. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I want. But I'm too close to the other one here. Yeah. 
I'm too close to it for that. Okay. That means I'm going to need to build my own interchange here. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to Oh, what am I going to work on here? How am I going to do this? Well, first off, I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to start with one-way road. using this as a guideline and this is a guideline okay so I want my Nope, that's going to be too small. not quite right okay so that's my actual roundabout location so I can take my through roads out of here to go the right way. And this needs to be elevated. Right. Uh, highway, that's what I need. Uh, 
Okay, let's just... Okay, so I've got an elevated section there now that I can use as a reference. Okay, this needs to go up. Really? Okay, so that's one. Okay, this is where I, I want the other one to line up. There we go. And that is, of course, going the wrong way. Right, okay. This clearly has to go. Okay, so that interchange is complete. Okay, now... There we go. That gives me a roundabout interchange. Uh, actually, I can change those to on and off ramps there. Yeah. Okay, good. Now... And I can get rid of these placeholders. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need... Realistically, I think I should have another road coming out here. Uh, say here. Whoops. And I think here. There we go. Now, I said something about putting a pedestrian path along there. Um, 
the idea being I don't want to accidentally zone along here. So doing this should prevent me from doing that. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so the whole reason I'm doing that is so that I don't zone this stuff accidentally. So, so that should be fine. Okay, good. passenger train station just for fun here uh, but doing that okay what no 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 I want train train station should put this well this shouldn't generate a massive amount of traffic but I definitely want it on this side of the main road so I'll put it here get to the loop here. Uh, give it some services, obviously. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, I'll bring my uh, water pipe around here. do that, I'm also going to, uh, where is it, metro, I'm going to put a metro stop right beside the train station. Okay.
Okay, so I'll make a metro connection, a stub one out there. Actually, I might be able to put a second metro station real close there. So, actually, Yeah, so I'll put another metro station there. Um, unlike uh, some of the other uh, city building games, the Sims will actually walk between stations. So uh, that's actually good. So I can just put a line in between, a stub line here, so to speak. Now, okay. or two over the a pedestrian bridge that is over the main road here got to actually bring it down. There we go. Oh, wow. Well, that definitely isn't uh, what I wanted. Okay, I should be good with the one bridge for now. Over at the metro station. Now, I'm going to speed the game up here and take a look here. Let's see. I have two metro lines. I don't know what that's going to do for my city, but uh, I don't think it's going to 
harm anything here. Okay. Okay, I'll fill this in here. Just call that all residential and be done with it. Now, in this area, I probably, the bottom of the cliff, I should develop something. I might c consider, though, building some stuff at the top of the cliff. Since the area kindly has provided me with an elevated highway up there. which I think I can sanely uh, repurpose into a local uh, sort of expressway. Yeah, I think I can do that because I have a limited uh, space here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to do that this part here. I think by expanding this road around here... I've probably improved traffic a little bit. Though I may have a bottleneck here. I may want to take that other interchange out. I'm not sure actually. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave off on that side of town for the moment. I'm going to take uh, another examination over here. So I've got a whole whack of uh, industrial setup in here, but I don't really want to add more uh, road uh, traffic, so I think I need to add a freight train uh, connection somehow. So I'm going to do that over here. Uh, train. Cargo terminal. Too bad you have to build the road first. Okay. So, what have I got sticking out of here? A one-way road. Well, you can make that a two-way road, and then I can bring it down here. Uh, 
Okay. Now. No, I need a cargo terminal. Okay, that won't fit, but that does. That's about where I want it. Okay. Okay. And... Okay, now I want wrong, and I build a second cargo terminal here. Now, I just need to link that with the outside. There's no point having a track going this way, because that's just the end of the line. Now, I need to get a track around to the industrial area here. So, uh, how to do that? Well, I'm going to freehand it here. fix the power here. Come on. There we go. Well, that should have briefly caused a sewage crisis. Now, Oh, I should slow that down while I'm doing this. Uh, tracks. Okay. Now, I need a road for my train station.
Okay. That'll give me a road for it. Now. Okay. Okay, clearly. Nope. Okay, that will do. Now. Okay, no nope, power makes it there. Now these things I'm going to need to get power out to. Okay, and I need to get water out to them. Come on. Okay. Now let's see if that generates some traffic. Okay, I've got trucks going there.
quite amusing to uh, watch a train travel through here. And here we are at the train station. And there's the stack of trucks got spawned. Okay, so I want one way around this way. That should give me pretty much the optimal routing there. Uh, the point of this is to uh, minimize the traffic conflicts at the uh, entrance points to the uh, to the terminals here. Okay, so excellent. So if I go back over here and examine the roads. I have actually reduced the truck traffic on the highway. Um, it might be beneficial to have the commercial area get uh, train deliveries too. Anyway, that should help with raw materials at the very least. Right, okay. I'm going to make one more road connection over here. That should take a little strain off this segment. Um, now, Okay. Uh, 
I figure there's probably use for a little bit more industrial here, so I'll do that. Uh, I may end up with a shortage of workers, but... I don't think that's going to be a significant problem. Uh, so I'm going to take a look here. Demographics wise, I have a 13% unemployment rate. Uh, not bad, not good. I have a fairly high seniors population, so I suspect I'm going to be riding a death wave here. Yeah, that's definitely... a lack of uh, people there. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, bus. Okay, that's the metro. What's the bus, you know, bus routes look like? Yeah, I could probably stand a bus route around here. getting citizens from the metro line. Right, okay. And I'm uh, making this route here. to try and bring some uh, workers out from the city core. At the very least, it will It will uh, improve the uh, value in the area since the uh, simulated uh, citizens do generally uh, like uh, transportation routes.
Okay. Give these uh, citizens a an easier time getting to the uh, train stations here. Okay, that uh, that should help my uh, my transportation network some. Uh, I looks like I have some unfortunate uh, bus routes in here, but. Uh, Looks like I need to, uh, yep, I'm out of power. I should uh, do something about that. What's the power plant? 640, and that's 160. Well, I'm going to stick a nuke plant. That should uh, sort out the... Uh, once I give it some water, it should sort out the... power requirements. Yeah, I wondered, uh, watching uh, Hal Jackie, I think it was, he had a nuclear plant, I believe, in his Building a Skyline from Scratch series. I wondered what the uh, attraction of it is, and clearly it's uh, well, due to uh, the higher output. It does occur to me that the uh, solar uh, capabilities in the game are a little bit overpowered, but uh, it's clear that those are solar thermal rather than photovoltaic, so uh, it seems uh, plausible at least that uh, that a higher uh, higher level of uh, power might be generated than might initially be thought by the layman but I'm not convinced of that Okay. Um, so my metro lines are doing okay. Uh, 
ultimately, this one's probably going to head off up here. So, why don't I do that? Uh, I want to build a metro line. Metro. Why don't I... No, I want a metro extension there. Uh, there it is. Actually, if I build it straight, that should be fine. Um, I'll pause it here. And extend my metro line out to here. And replace the stops here. There we go. Now I'll start it, start the game going again. Uh, and also over here, uh, I'll put some bus loops. I should uh, construct another metro line over a metro station over here. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, okay, now for a metro station. go there, okay. But, I'm going to have to do this to place it. There we go. Link the line. Okay. loop come on there we go Amazing what it does for um, leveling up when you start putting mass transit stops in. And I 
can make another loop through here. Okay, so far so good there. Now, I'll just make one more loop here. This one should be over on this side. There we go. Okay, that's a stack more bus routes over here. Now, let's see how the bus lines are doing. Except for the last one, I've got some uh, actual uh, benefit going on. Okay, yep. So I have a real amount of ridership on there. How's the Metro doing? Okay. I think I like that for now. Right. Well, I think. I haven't gained much population-wise this part. Um, demographics. Okay, the demographics is straightening out now, so so that's good. Well, I haven't gained a lot of population this part, but I've done some work on infrastructure, and I think that will be beneficial in the long term. Uh, so, all, or, all around, I think it's been a good part. Um, it's kind of up there with how Jackie's let's build three quarters of an interchange for an hour um, part in his uh, building a skyline from scratch. Um, you get to see what's actually involved in the gameplay. I think that's part of the uh, appeal of oops of these um, these games. Um, yeah, so I haven't created a traffic problem with my freight train stations. Um, ultimately, I'm probably going to take this loop out and have a parallel line going as far as the city limit for the um, inbound uh, tourists. Uh, 
to avoid uh, traffic jam on the freight line uh, or the train from freight and passengers anyway um, I'll probably need another train station in the middle of a commercial area That was part of what went wrong over here when I put a bunch of high-density commercial right here is the uh, truck traffic coming in this interchange just killed it. But if I had a, I think if I had a train station, say, a cargo station, say, over here with a road link directly in there, I might not have the same problem. Especially now that I have uh, other transport infrastructure around here. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that at this point. Uh, my part here is running long, so uh, I think that's about uh, it's about time to end it. Um, you can see there's some real traffic starting to build on this stack interchange here, so. Um, building the massive stack doesn't look quite so much like overkill as it did when it was totally off and nowhere here um, anyway uh, here we go uh, save the game okay that's the game saved so that's the end of part 11. I'll see everyone back for part 12. Thank you for watching.